The violent breach at the Capitol by a mob of pro-President Trump supporters is being held up as a glaring example of racial disparity in our nation. The dozens of arrests yesterday, just a fraction of the hundreds arrested during Black Lives Matters protests in D.C. last summer. Our Leon Bibb shares his thoughts on the tale of two different demonstrations. It was unthinkable, but the live eye of television beamed into our homes. The U.S. Capitol building breached, burglarized, broken into, vandalized by a group, not from outside this country, but from inside. These were Americans who stormed the nation's Capitol building and surprisingly were met only by small resistance. How could this have happened? As I watched the horrible events unfold on a color television, the difference in how authorities responded to it compared to how they responded to the summer's Black Lives Matter demonstrations were black and white. The pro-Trump mob stormed the gates and windows of the Capitol building. Where were the Capitol Hill police and other armed forces at a time when thousands of the mob said they would go to the Capitol, angry over certification of Joe Biden as the next president? Only weeks ago, in Lafayette Park, outside the gates of the White House, peaceful demonstrators were met with heavy resistance. Yet at the Capitol building, when the mob broke in, there was little resistance. Immediately, my phone began to ring as relatives and friends said, had the pro-Trump mob been a black mob or a Muslim mob, the authorities' resistance could have been quick, heavy, and deadly. A tale of two demonstrations, a summertime peaceful Black Lives Matter protest well outside the White House grounds was pushed away by heavy resistance. And a Trump-inspired group intent on breaking into the Capitol building was met only with tepid resistance until more forces could be brought in to push them out. But by then, the damage was done. A tale of two demonstrations, as different as black and white. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.